Hey everybody, what's up? It's finally good to be back. It's been a while and today I'll be reviewing Google's project IDX. So I recently got access to its preview version and I was kind of curious to seek the answer for the question of whether it's going to replace our beloved VS Code. So let's dig right into it. So it has some intergalactic kind of feel to it. It kind of looks nice. I mean, great first expression. So yeah, uh, so we have start building your app in the cloud and that's the best part of it. I've heard you can build workspaces within IDX and it's it has sort of a tinge of like a futuristic IDE and you can share those workspaces as well. So that's what I really want to experiment with. And that's the cool thing is this part here. So you have all these pre-built templates. So you've got a, a pre-built Angular template, Next.js, Note, Express, Gemini API even. And if you go ahead, it has like a very neat and a very uh, verbose segregation over here. Like if you want to build a web app, you can start with uh, Angular, React, Svelte, simple HTML page even. That's great. And all web app templates, we have got SolidJS, Preact. Ah, kind of nice. So in the back end, we have probably everything that you can think of. One good thing is that you have really good integration with, uh, you know, uh, Flutter utilities. And you have an inbuilt, uh, like, uh, mobile workspace as well. Within AI, ML, I think Google is keeping its you know, uh, in-house products over here and supports great integrations with it. So that's nice. Uh, miscellaneous. Okay, you have a blank workspace over here. No, no biggie. Uh, one good feature is you can continue with an existing project of importing a repo. So for the longest time, I go to GitHub. I go to get code. I copy the SSH or the HTTPS. Uh, links and I set up my repo individually, but this is a great feature. I mean, there are plugins available in VS Code through which you can sort of automate the whole thing by just giving in your uh, GitHub uh, URL. But this is great, like you can just import the repo and it's going to set up everything for you. So let's go ahead and start with a Node Express template. All right. Uh, let's say test and there again I have like a hello world JavaScript template and hello world TypeScript template so that's kind of nice uh, let's just stick to JavaScript we don't want to go that creative all right setting up the workspace this may take a bit of a time Any minute now. Yep, almost there. One hour later. This is taking a lot of time. All right. So our workspace is being finalized and what? I don't see anything. Oh, ah, okay. This, this looks exactly like VS code. I mean, uh, the whole experience, I mean, even the icons are same, uh, the search icon, source command icon, even the extension icon. Oh, that's great. Uh, so we can find all the extensions over here. Let's see. Okay. Uh, TypeScript. Oh, nice. We have everything. JavaScript. Wise. All right. Almost everything is there. So. So yeah, I have everything in one place. Uh, one good thing is like we have uh, the web window inbuilt, which is kind of nice. So you don't have to go look for online terminals if you want to demo something up. 
Great for interviewing though. So we have the terminal. Uh, no, no biggie here. Seems exactly like VS Code. Uh, let's see. It, uh, I think the template part is pretty great. Uh, yeah, it saves a lot of time. So this one's great. Uh, let's go ahead and hello world, hello world again, and API, hello world again, that's kind of nice. And one good feature that I heard is IDXAI. So let's see. Oh, so it's like a internal GPT, something like a custom GPT. So how do I fetch in JS? Let's see. This is kind of nice. I think with the whole AI landscape, this is definitely going to be useful in terms of an experience. And yeah, that's great. Oh, I think... So we have uh, these code snippets and we can sort of insert these code snippets by just clicking these icon. Yeah, so... Oh, this is this is kind of cool. This is kind of cool. So, I mean, in terms of experience, this is great. You don't have to copy paste anything. You can just like uh, if I go back here and remove it, and if I just insert this snippet. So yeah, definitely that's kind of ten on ten in terms of productivity and having everything in one place. Um. Uh, Cool, and the the good thing is that you don't have to uh, sort of install any third-party extension for this to get this experience in one place, so that's kind of nice. Perfect. So yeah, overall it's kind of cool. Uh, one good thing is if I go back to IDX main homepage, so I get my workspaces here. So one good thing is that you... Um, so if you're working in a team, you can sort of just click here and you can share your workspace. Uh, you can add people or you can just copy the link. So the good thing is that in terms of pair programming, this is kind of a great tool that you don't have to push your code to uh, your GitHub repo. And, you know, you don't have to wait for your teammates to actually fetch it. You guys can work in uh, in the same environment. So it's kind of really cool. So yeah, uh, besides that, we have the documents over here, but I don't think it's relevant to the demo. Overall, yeah, I think in terms of the uh, in terms of the preview that they have released, this is this is definitely going to. Uh, I mean, uh, uh, I can I can see myself using it instead of VS Code. So when it's packed with features and they go on with official release, I think it's gonna. It's going to give a real tough time to VS Code. And I can see that this is the IDE for the future with all the integrations and everything in Workplace. Yeah, so let me know what you guys think about it. So I'll see you guys in the next video.